Okay, you know what? I'll give you guys two new options. We can do Zero Escape or KFC Dating Sim. Okay, so do you guys just want KFC Dating Sim then? This is a short ass game, but if you guys want it, that's fine. softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Oh god. Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of college is school is in no time to, is no time to sleep in. Slept through the school year and gave up on the once in a lifetime opportunity to meet Car Colonel Sanders. Game over! Classic Miriam, raised by Master Chef Karen. She's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're gonna do great. <laughs> but with University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning's famous three-day... This semester is only three days?! Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books. Sona thinks just like me. You know for a fact that's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself better than everyone. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man. What the f Van Van the Man Man has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out. <laughs> you can see him casually working out his glutes. While he styles his hair. Ahem, man, man. You rang, rang. <laughs> what the heck is this guy? Oopsie. Wait, ah. Do I just go higher pitch? Oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that, that should do the trick. I love you! <laughs> I can't even take myself seriously! Ah, fuck! How do I... I feel like I don't have much of a range. Let me just go through my range of voices. Just do a corgi voice? What's a corgi voice? British accent? Now, now. No, I don't know how to do a British. How do you say British accent? Now, now. Quiet down, everyone. Whatever, we're going with it. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. And then, he walks in. It's him. It's. If it isn't my favorite student, Harlan, please. Wait, how do I... Oh, I... There's no way I can do this voice justice. Please, call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. <laughs> A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. 
sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Boy, howdy. This classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. <laughs> Please use my handkerchief. You freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you about how sweaty you look? You're completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept! I can't take myself seriously. What, you think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw! Nah, my dude, nah! Well, Van Van the Man Man, if you don't want any, I'll take his! Me, me, me! Whoa, hold on! I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now, there's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing! Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. What a guy! Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love. For a man? For a flavor? Are they the same? You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lessons will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is? Me and you, in case that wasn't clear. Sure, Chili. I'll prepare our station. All right, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. I've always been something of a down-home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes. And gravy. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. Things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business, Ashley. Fuck Ashley, we don't like Ashley. Sanders' heart is my business, and you'd better keep your fingers off of my man. <sighs> Did someone call for me? Oh, no, he's damn bad. While I'm over here crushing Chili's dreams, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? But Colonel, you asked me. I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. Don't you feel deep down that we have complementary shadows? We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. It just makes sense. Nothing about this makes any sense, but one thing is clear. She's coming for Colonel if you don't watch out. Look down at your station and realize that in the tension of the moment, your hands must have been cooking at autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The result? Mwah, looks spectacular. Granny would be proud. <laughs> what the f*** is this game? Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it. But he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand the two of you stand holding the same spork, and for that small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. <laughs> Your 
your eyes lock, the moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. <laughs> Together, you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and lift a heaping sparkle up. When you see Ashley with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. Mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic! In just a few minutes, I prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty, gray tentacle of octopus and my silky salt water sauce. Displayed on a battle axe blade forged by my supreme chef ancestors. You've ignored me for too long. That ends now. It is I who will have first bite, and you will all look on with envy. What's <laughs> happening? The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes the bite of the signature dish right off the plate. No, don't! Something about this dish is strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process. The result could be toxic. Too late, it has been eaten. Oh yeah, I, I think left something in the oven. I don't feel so good. Plate, the rest of it is gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped up and popped his mouth. The top wins the cane for just a moment and is almost immediately back to his oblivious self. Oopsie! Tastes like poison! The entire class has gathered to watch the top's final moment. The shock has frozen the whole crowd. They are as motionless as statues. That was like intense. That was a lot. What? The, wait, give me a second. Holy shit. I had to recover. That was a lot of voices, a lot of action, a lot of intensity. Um, hello? I just turned into a ghost over here. Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please, let me walk you home. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today, they were amazing. Tasting them, it reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. What the f***? No, I'm not! We've only known each other for less than 24 hours! Okay, if we're talking actual game time, it's been like 30 minutes. This is not how love works. Th there's something I need to tell you. Uh -huh. Hold it right there. There's something I need to tell you first. You see, when I was just... <clears throat> Wait, is that the voice I... You, <clears throat> you see, when... Whoa, what the f*** was that? You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? You can't prove that. Hmm. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Forget him. We're talking about me. Me, 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 me. I'm the hero. <laughs> oh, what the f***? It's a turn-based fight sequence! What will you do? You will attack. You decide you to go on the attack! Look what's up! Look what's up! Look At this rate, the semester will probably be over before this fight is. Vile villain, your reign of terror stops here. Colonel Sanders summons the energy of 1,000 chickens! Damn, that's a tongue twister. Pot Pie Power Pinch does 10 damage. Pork Monster is defeated. <laughs> the defeated monster left behind a special item. It appears at first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, it's so much more. It's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. Oh my god, what the f is this game? Sprinkles lays down the ground rules. Oh, Mocha sleeping. There are no rules. That is, except to cook with everything you've got. 
You step up for the cook-off of a lifetime. You decide that mac and cheese with the pot pie you've been practicing are just the dishes that'll push you over the edge to victory. Meanwhile, both Van Van and Ashley are prepping wildly elaborate dishes for their usual over-the-top selves. Colonel Sanders seems to be harnessing his 11 herbs and spices, but he's trying to find a way to improve on something perfect. His original recipe, copyright fried chicken. The intensity in the room starts at a full at at a full 10 out of 10 with a frenzy of action. Everyone is calling out really cool special cooking moves as they prepare their food. Wow, this is getting serious. Egg wars, best friend, bastard blaster. Let's rock and roid. Hello, personality spatula. As you frantic, frantically prepare your dish, you notice Ashley has her spell book out. Is she going to use some dark magic to turn the tide? You've got a book of your own, and you're desperate not to see her win another battle. Should you take this opportunity to fight magic with magic, even if it's almost certainly evil magic? You take out your own spell book and let your instincts dot guide you to a page you've never seen before. It's a summoning spell that will conjure up a spork monster. Now seems like a good time to add some chaos to the mix. You have summoned me! Ah, the broom cooking arena! So many fun memories of battling in this place in my old life. Just tell me who is giving you trouble and we'll take very good care of them. You motion to Ashley before you can think better of this dastardly re decision. He recites a spell that <laughs> turns her into a chicken! Now a mere bird, she flaps her wings and glides off the, the produce section of the arena, far from her station. Hi, hey, Mocha. Okay, gotta go. Bye. Uh-oh, this could be dangerous. You're immediately wrapped with guilt over this act of blatant transmogrif... Transmogrification. What the... F you don't know what to do. Would it, it would be poetic justice for Asha to live out the rest of her days as a chicken, and yet that seems unspeakably cruel. After all, it's just a cooking competition. Do we save her or do we do nothing? Fine, well... Dude, eat her is not an option. Yeah, do nothing. Chicken Ashley pecks around at the base of some cabin tree, searching for some loose vegetables to eat. Julie, how could you? Cheating on the final exam. I've never been more disappointed. And here I was considering you for a place not only in my future chain of highly successful chicken restaurants, but also my heart. Screw you, Colonel Sanders! <laughs> Without hesitation, he casts a counter spell from memory that saves her. There is such a thing as competing with honor, and this does not qualify. I no longer want anything to do with you. Fine, fine, fine. We won't turn her into a stupid chicken. We'll do it the hard way. Who needs magic when you've got passion? I'm gonna do it the hard way. Colonel Sanders sees what you've chosen, sees that you've chosen to win on your own terms, and he gives you a subtle wink from across the room. I believe in you, Chili. Do you believe in me, Mocha? I can do this. I have what it takes. I came here to win. Your hair turns mac and cheese orange as culinary energy flows through your body. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for this moment. I will show the world my cookery. You begin to levitate off the ground. Energy courses through your body. You know with this power, you can do anything. Impressed with your fortitude, Colonel Sanders decides that you have earned his support. I've been watching you today, and I must say, I'm truly impressed. You've been digging on your feet and rolling with the punches. He steps up to your face and stands right beside you. I'm here to help. All you've managed to make is mac and cheese. The time is almost up, so you're going to need it. But Colonel Sanders, what about the test? What will happen to you? What about the rules? Following the rules of... He turned to a chicken because he said he likes to follow rules, and now he's telling me he doesn't like to follow rules? I hate this guy. If there are no rules, that means my cheating was not considered cheating. Fuck this guy! You and Colonel Sanders, the final cook, step up together. Two chefs? 
what began as a bowl of delicious mac and cheese has become some or has become something else. He examines it closely, sniffing it and eyeing the bowl. Just when I thought I've seen everything in this kitchen, you give me this, this thing, and completely blow me away. In my 49 dog years of life, I have never tasted anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. It's so delicious, in fact, that everyone passes the class. You pass, you pass, and you pass, and you get a pass, because I'm now Oprah the dog. Oh, Everyone gathers around and partakes of the mac and cheese bowl. They all seem to transcend this reality into another dimension. You, you win! Together, you and Colonel Sanders have made a new menu item. The new menu item is so impressive, even the Ban Ban, even Ban Ban and Ashley are drawn back in by its magnific magnificent fragrance. When they gaze upon your mac and cheese bowl, they admit that you are indeed an excellent chef. What the? Oh my god. Sprinkles declares that you have passed. Everyone has passed. There are supposed to be more battles, but come on, how could they be better than this one? I feel like the writers got bored or lazy towards the end, and that's what this is what we came up with. Now that the school year is complete and everyone has graduated, the students return for one last assignment to get their groove on. How we clap. Okay. Love. Okay, he okay, he kinda looks good. I'm not gonna lie, I still hate him, but he looks a little good. Howdy, classmates. Just like the first day you met him, he has come prepared to feed the entire class. However, it's not enough to just give them a bucket of chicken. This time it's a full meal. I didn't get to be the most famous chicken man in the history of chicken and man by not reminding people to go out and buy my chicken. The end? Wait, is that actually the end? Hello? Oh, I was gonna say. No, it's not the end. As everyone feasts on their delicious chicken dinner, Colonel Sanders finds you sitting at the top, at the edge of the dance floor. Chili, what are you doing sitting all alone? Oh, you know, just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance. I wonder, might you tell me what are the qualities that you would expect to find in such a lucky person? Off the top of my head, oh, I don't know, a spicy musk, a tidy goatee, and a degree from the... <laughs> and a degree from the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, just to name a few. It truly is my lucky day. Would you dance with me? Yes, I would love to! As you glide across the dance floor, hand in hand with Colonel Sanders, the future stretches out in front of you. And once my 100th franchise is up and running, I'll be ready to take a day off, and I'll be... I have to wait until you can win 100 stores before I can spend one day with this man. We don't sit! We don't sip! We don't sip! We don't sip! How sweet! We'll work together and play to play. Colonel Sanders stops that in his track. Work together? Well, um, I think this is something I'll just need to do by myself. But who will help you run this your restaurant? I don't believe I need help. Besides, based on your time at school here, do you really think running restaurants is the best path forward? Hold up! He's rejecting me? No, bitch, I reject you. Why am I not getting a choice? Oh, oh, my dear Chili, I'm sure that you'll find your place eventually. And along the way, you'll have be me by your side. Don't tell me that's the actual end. Who the fuck recommended this game? I'm about to ban you. What?